Did a quadruple murder spark gang retaliation shootings? Assault rifles were used in the attacks. Good evening, I'm Jim Williams. And I'm Mai Martinez. Thank you for joining us. As CBS 2's Dana Kozlov reports, city officials say assault rifles are becoming the weapon of choice in certain parts of Chicago. Twice in 15 hours, bullet casings from what's believed to be assault rifles litter a southwest side street. In this shooting, two men were hit, neither one a gang member. They were getting ready to open the store. Abed Ayesh's brother, Odai, was one of them. It was an assault rifle, and he had a son with him who was six years old. So, thank God nothing happened there. Both victims are expected to recover, but Ayesh and other residents who did not want to be identified say the back of the yards and Brighton Park neighborhoods in particular are in crisis. Everybody is on edge, on pins and needles, ready to explode. Fueled, they say, by the proliferation of assault rifles used in gang shootings and retaliations, like this one, seized by police this weekend. We are seeing time and again these weapons are being imported from Tennessee, North Carolina, Indiana. People are buying them by the trunk load, $300 a pop for an AK-47, bringing it to our streets. Alderman Lopez says retaliation shootings have become almost like a game to gang members. He says they even keep track of victims on social media. This, he believes, is retaliation for that quadruple murder Friday night. All four of those victims were found shot to death in a car in Brighton Park. With an assault rifle with 30 plus rounds unloaded on the vehicle. Stop the violence! Stop the violence! Alderman Lopez was set to take part in an anti-violence walk when he got the call about the morning shooting. Ayesh says his family has had enough. They don't want to live here no more. It's just, you know, the, I, I can tell you this, the gangbangers won. In the back of the yards neighborhood, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Chicago police say three of the victims from last night's shooting, all men in their 20s, were documented gang members. The fourth victim, a 28-year-old woman, was reportedly pregnant. Police are still looking for the shooters.